Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth, this is day 4 of our series, Learn SQL with Srikanth. So in this video we are going to talk about the DML commands. So let's understand the definition. DML stands for Data Manipulation Language which is basically used for managing the data within a schema object. It also include you know command like uh, insert, update, delete. Then let's understand the importance of DML. So important of the uh, importance of DML is you know for managing, uh, for performing the day-to-day -day activities, perfect. Then let's let's jump technical stuff. So, what are the different uh, key DML command we have? We basically have insert, we basically have update and the delete. So, these are the three DML command. So, name itself suggests insert. Insert means just to load something, perfect. Then update, update means basically something to some some need something need to be updated, right? Then delete means something need to be deleted, perfect. Then each command has their own purpose. I have listed here. So, what is the purpose of insert? Used to add a new rows to the table. And the syntax basically would be like insert into table name. Very simple, right? Insert into. So, you just need to use a keyword called as a insert into. Then the table name. Then the column and the data you just need to pass. Right? Perfect. Then we basically have update. For the update, we have a syntax like update table, table, update table name. Then set which value you, which column you want to update. Then the where and the condition. Then what is the then basically delete. So delete is used to remove existing row from the table, which is very clear, right? So what will happen? You know, when we delete something with a delete, the only data will get deleted. But you know, internal structure and uh, those memory will be kept. So that's the different story we will talk. But right now, just as we are talking only in general DML command, there will be a separate video going further for insert update and delete so i will try to clear all the doubt but right now just focus on this thing like what are the different dml command we have a insert we have a update we have a delete in the separate video we will also talk about the syntax and everything don't worry about that but right now just focus on this thing okay next i have written some example for example you want to insert uh, you have a table called as employee and there it has few columns and you want to you know load some data then how would you write your insert statement so your insert statement should like uh, insert into table name then these are the column then the values i need to pass right this i would write then there is a update statement for example i want to update the position where employee is equal to one as a senior manager so this kind of update i want to do that then i if i want to write the delete from that one how would i do that so i just need to use delete from then table name then i need to pass a condition if there is a condition required like this i need to do that perfect so let's move to the practical step now so if you guys remember last time we basically have written this uh, query to create the table once again let's create a one good table now so what we are going to do we are going to drop the old table so i am just dropping first now let's create the table from the start so what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a table called as an employee and here I have the employee ID then in then I'm going to have a name column and let's try to understand name is basically having a data type called as a var cat. Don't worry about the data type, the separate video will come for that. But for time being what I'm going to do, I'm going to store the name and max size would be just 100 character. Var cat means variable character, you know 100. So max I can pass 100 character in the uh, in the string okay then age and these are the three column I have so what will I do I'll simply create the table now I create the table now the next thing is basically as we are talking about the DML uh, and we are going to understand the insert so the first thing is basically what is the syntax so syntax is basically insert into then this one then the table name then you need to pass here the name of the table name of the columns so which column I have I do have the EMP ID, then I do have the age, then I do have name. These are the three column I have, right? How simple it is. Then you just you can just pass the value. So employee ID is one, and uh, don't worry about the select. Just focus on how I am writing the insert statement. So insert statement something like that. Then I am just uh, passing. Okay, so don't use this one because we on we haven't talked about the select. So here we can write something like values. In the values, just pass employee ID is 1, age is 23, and the name is basically Srikanth. Okay, just run it, just select and run. So you would see the message something like one rows, 
add it correct then you can write another you can just copy this or you can just write like this so insert into employee employee id age name add one more row values employee id is what to age is 24 and uh, name is basically code so i'm going to run this command once again let's see what will happen i got a message right one row affected what does that mean it means that this row has been loaded now just for time being understand if i want to see the data i need to use a command called as a select star from the table this is very simple statement so just run it when you run it you would see what kind of data we do have so i can see clearly there are a column called as emp id the age then the name so emp id is having a one age is 23 and the name is shrikant right now we understood basically how to write a insert statement with value right so perfect now next thing is what happened you know i just added this data but now my requirement is where emp id is equal to 2 that the name of that person should change to prashant for example so how do i do that so there is a something log called as update here you in the update you need to pass you need to write a keyword or something like update then you need to pass you need to write a table name so what is my table name emp id then you need to use a keyword called as a set and here you need to pass the column name so my column name is basically name and i want to uh, make it as a prashan for example and there is a condition so for syntax don't worry uh, after this all ddl command i will be creating a separate video for insert update and delete what is syntax and how to use that that will be in that will be in, in detail actually so for time being how i do that because i want to you know give some idea about this so here update then table name then the name of the column then the value and here you need to write a condition so i can write a condition like where emp id is equal to 2 emp id is equal to 2 what will happen you know what will happen the value basically here khod code which will get replaced by prashant so simply just select the query and run it and we already written this code select star from employee so it will show you all the data so you can see here see the name has been changed right so this is how we need to write a update now my requirement is basically i want to delete the id or the emp emp id where value is equal to 2 so how i can do that for that we have a command called as a delete and the syntax is very simple just use the delete then the table name you can also use a key, uh, keyword called as a from that is actually optional but it's depend if you want to use you can use it then pass the condition right where emp id is equal to 2 and run it and let's see what will happen the moment you will run this query and just try to pass the query to the table and see what do we have let's execute it we would see here only a one record has been left there another record has been deleted right so which means that delete has also been worked so let's go back to our presentation so you can see this is how i can write the insert statement like insert into table name then list of the all the columns then the values right then the update how i can write the update update table name then which column you want to update value so here you can pass a multiple column just uh, just separate it by a comma perfect then for delete also you can write a delete from the table name and if you want to remove uh, anything uh, just for a some specific row then you need to pass a condition or if you want to just remove all the data from the table you don't need to pass a condition condition is not mandatory perfect so i hope you guys understood the dml command like right? they are very simple now we create, now we understood how to create table also understood how to load the data how to update data and how to delete the data from the table perfect now there are you know base few best practices which we need to follow that will be very good so the first thing is always perform a select query before update or delete operation so why why we are forcing this as a good practice basically before applying the delete we just need to make sure that data whatever we are going to update or the delete which basically correct data so just to cross check then the second thing use a transaction to ensure data integrity so data integrity is very important here so what so you know allow you to commit or roll back changes based on success or failure correct so what happen you know sometime we basically uh, perform some kind of update or delete and what happen something get 
breaks or by mistake we delete something right so what happen if we perform all this activity under you know transaction transaction basically is a is a kind of a point where we can roll back or the commit so if we are performing all those thing in the transaction so we always have you know control that i can commit or i can roll back in a oracle that's uh, that we need to pass like you know either you, need, you can roll back or the commit but in sql server is a auto commit so it's always a good practice if you go with a if you are writing big in transaction then either you can commit or the rollback if you think so that will be very useful when you deal with the production environment then be cautious with where clauses omitting a where clause can result in unintended changes to all the rows so for example if you are writing delete from employee where employee id is equal to 2 and and by mistake you forgot basically so uh, by passing the where condition so it's always good you know good to write the where clause, where clause in a single line or make sure that you already selected the where clause properly what happen you know sometime you forget that the entire table will be removed so it's always good basically uh, you always use the update or delete in a or even insert also in a transaction if you feel everything is fine then just commit the transaction if you feel something has been broken just roll back so these are a few important point which always need to be remember while working with the dml commands then let's conclusion so what are dml dml command once again so insert update delete so these are basically dml command select is basically the part of dql but as we just discussed so uh, this is for retrieving the data then so this is basically you know dml operations are very important we will do the day, day to day activity and uh, as a part of the etl developer or if you are a database developer then you uh, might you 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 might need to use with this dml command regularly okay and let's hope you guys understood uh, what are the different command dml command we have in the sql and hope you understood in detail and thanks for watching if you really like our video please don't forget to comment over the comment section that will help us to know that you guys are watching it's not required that you should subscribe but at least you should you can comment so we will be happy to know that okay you guys are enjoying our video and it, it will motivate us to upload few more videos and thanks for watching have a great day ahead